What's up YouTube? It's Mike here back with another video. First off, I wanted to mention YouTube is telling me in the analytics that most of the people who are watching the videos aren't subscribed. So please subscribe to the channel. Ring the notification bell for notifications on uploads. And if you like the video, please like the video. So as a lot of you guys know, I have a bunch of stingrays. They've slowly become some of my favorite fish to keep. I absolutely love them. I've grown most of them out since pups and I just absolutely love watching them grow and I really love their personalities. And I've got stingrays from multiple different sellers and I've had them all shipped with very little issues actually. I've had very few problems with rays in general and health. For the most part they have done really well for me. A couple of small shipping issues but for the most part I've had very good luck keeping rays. However, I do have a favorite ray and I don't like to play favorites with fish, but I can't help it. I definitely have a favorite and some of you guys might know which stingray that is. So in the last video, I moved a bunch of these rays into this 1500 gallon. They are all over the place, but they are doing very well so far and I think they are really enjoying the space. Out of all my rays, this female black diamond hybrid is by far my favorite. She is just beautiful and unique. Never really seen another ray quite like her. So I got this female from the Center for Stingray Biology. Uh, Tim Folick on Facebook helped hook me up with her. Now if you guys aren't familiar with the Center for Stingray Biology, Kevin. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Center for Stingray Biology is uh, a breeder and keeper and seller. He's the owner of the Center for Stingray Biology. So he bred her himself. And again, if you guys aren't familiar with him, I'll put some clips in here now. Obviously we got an albino right there. There's some babies right there. And I will pull those babies out to show you. We got another birth and two females. Okay, I have more over here. But these are the selected ones out. So we'll see what the next batch looks like. So I'm obviously above and beyond pleased with the quality of that ray that I got from them. And that's what made me want to purchase from them again. So I did order a second ray from the Center for Stingray Biology. So I'm going to do an unboxing of that today so you'll get to see it. But this purchase was not a good purchase. It was a great one. All right, so we're gonna do a little unboxing from Kevin and Tim at the Center for Singray Biology. So my wife's gonna help me film this a little bit so I can open it up. I gotta go that way though. No, no. The last ray I got from them was pretty much the best shipping I've ever seen on any fish. I've never seen a fish come in with such clean water on the last one, so this one's really, really special. We shall see. Well, she is alive. Looks like she's doing really good. Water's super clean. Start drip acclimating her. Not rod, I can't do it. I heard. Bag. 
he asked me to take note of the temperature. So I'm gonna throw a thermometer in there. <coughs> Airstone. Tiny bit of prime. Tank is at 80. A little over 80. It's at like 81, 82. And we'll see what that one's at. Okay, so we add an air stone, a little bit of prime into the bag, and now we are very slowly going to drip acclimate her. The temp in the tank is 82 and the temp in the bag is around 72, 73, something like that. So I'm going to very slowly bring her up to temperature. And they ship them in colder water for a reason that helps keep activity down and helps for a much cleaner water while they're in shipping. Two hours later. Okay. I think she's good. She's up to temperature. This is a very long acclimation that I've given her been way over an hour and I don't really like to do that but because the temps were so much different I really wanted to slowly acclimate her so now it is time the temp in the bag is up there at the exact same temp as the tank so we're gonna move her over all right so we got her in she's very stressed out still but man she is gorgeous crazy pattern so for those of you who don't know, this is an albino pearl stingray. A couple of videos ago, I teased this fish. I was going to show it when I got it, or the week that I got it, but I ended up deciding to wait so I could do this video on it. I really wanted to do it justice because not only is it a very special fish, but also I really do appreciate the seller and I wanted to do a video that really uh, did the seller and the fish justice. So I've had her for a couple weeks and again, she's doing great. As you can see, she eats really well. I could not be happier. She's absolutely gorgeous, and within like the next two weeks, I'm gonna move her over. Sorry, the lights are off now. I'm gonna move her over into this pup grow out tank. She can grow out there for a while. So I have a bunch of different pearls, and I just fed to get them going a little bit. But this is a male pearl, and this is a female pearl stingray. And then I have another female in this grow out here, a little pup who is starting to develop quite nicely. So I will have three females and one male, which is pretty cool. So I'm excited to be able to someday keep all four pearl stingrays together. And I think I want to give them their own tank. So I hope that someday I have all four of the pearls together in a tank. I'm thinking about giving them the 600 to themselves. I'm not sure yet. But if you're interested, 
hit up the Center for Stingray Biology. You can hit up Tim Folick on Facebook, or you can go right to the Center for Stingray Biology's website, and they are having a holiday sale. Take advantage of it. I took advantage of it, and uh, you will not be disappointed. And yeah, this was not a good purchase. This was a great purchase. I am very excited and could not be happier. Highly recommend them as a seller. So if you're in the market for a uh, something like that, or a super hybrid, or even some of the lower quality hybrids, if it's your first ray, they're still the best place to go to. I highly recommend it for stingrays. Um, you will not be disappointed. But anyway, guys, that is the video. I thank you as always for watching. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in that next video.